First of all, before we start our session, I would like to welcome you all and to congratulate you all on taking up this role because it's very crucial and very important. And before we start, I would like also to ask you one tiny question. Has anyone participating in this training been taking up this role before? Feel free to unmute yourself or answer in the chat box. Okay, the answer is no so far. Some of you answered yes. Okay, that's awesome. I asked that question on purpose because I would like you all to feel proud that you took up this very important and crucial role because the secretary role is considered from my own point of view as the historian, the backbone, not only the VP education is the backbone, but also the secretary is the backbone. He is the historian and the documentarian of the club. Why? The answer, we will know it throughout this session. So let me first share my screen. And I hope that it will be more interactive session rather than a presentation or a training. Okay, can you see my screen now? Is it clear? Perfect. Great, thank you. So today's agenda, we are going to tackle three main responsibilities or three main topics about the secretary's role. The secretary role, the secretary responsibilities, and the secretary resources, which is very important to know. The session objectives are, by the end of the session, you are expected to identify the role of the secretary, be aware of your responsibilities, recognize who is available to help you and identify helpful materials and resources. Are you ready to start? Great, I would like to hear some noise. Okay, before we start, just as an energizer or a brainstorming, I would like you to answer a very short poll. I would like to ask our admin or the Zoom master to launch the poll after stopping my screen. So I will let you concentrate because it's a yes, no questions only. You can just choose yes or no from your own point of view. Can you see the poll? Somebody is saying that he cannot submit the answers, maybe because uh, you didn't finish all the answers. You need to answer all the questions there, then you submit your answers. Okay. Another 30 seconds and we will end the poll.
Right. I like your comments. <laughs> Thank you so much. Okay, we can end the poll now. Kindly, moderator. Thank you so much. Great answers. 47 out of 61 participants have answered the questions, which is something very, this is really great. But before we share the answers, I would like just to let you know why did I launch this poll and exactly why did I choose these questions? It's simply because these are some of your responsibilities as a secretary in the club. At the end of the session, we are going to relaunch it again, just to make sure that you're, or you are going to check your answers. If you answered yes, and now it's the answer no, which is correct, or no. So you are going to evaluate and assess yourself at the beginning. And this is what we all need to assess ourselves and our performance. So let's start our presentation again. Okay. Now, can you see my screen now? Great, okay. Now, the startup list. In order to start up your responsibilities as a secretary in the club, you need to have an effective handover. That means that you are supposed to prepare your successor during the whole year, and then at the beginning of the new year, you need to hand over your responsibilities, the documents and everything to your successor. This is the, the form that I usually fill in before handing in, and, and this actually happens in the club for all the club officers, not only the secretary. But it's very important for the secretary to hand over all the documents to their successor because this should be archived and perfectly done with all the club officers that take up that role in the club. This is the form that we need to fill, to, to fill in. You write that in accordance with the name of the club. Hand, I hand over the procedures and as an outgoing secretary of the term, let's say 1st of July, 2021 till 30th of June, 2022, I'm providing you as the incoming secretary for the term June, 2022. And with the following list of club documents and positions. And here you can list all the documents that you have. At the end, you sign and the out on the, the incoming club officer or the secretary also signs that he has got all the documents with him. This will be a very powerful and a very effective handover at the beginning of the year. Then the leadership book, which is very important to go through it, read it thoroughly, to know exactly what are your responsibilities and your duties during the whole year. So it's very important and it's available on the TI website. And it's updated by the way, this is the latest one. The latest one. Then the club exhibit, executive committee meetings, which is also one of the most important roles for the secretary to attend the executive committee meetings and to write down, take notes and document all the club executive meetings minutes. At the end also, the club officers training, which you are attending today, because this will be a very powerful introduction to the role itself. You will know what are your duties, what are your responsibilities, and what are your rights as a secretary in the club. So you will be fully aware of what you are going to do through the first six months of the year, and then you will have another training 
in winter, which is probably in February, to just uh, know more about your role and to reflect about what you have done. Now let's start with the secretary's role. The club constitution for the clubs of Toastmaster International, article number seven, has set the duties of the officers, especially in section five, it was stated for the secretary. So these are some parts of that constitution of that role. The club secretary is responsible for, first, handle the club records and correspondence. As we have agreed at the beginning that you have to keep all the documents and the correspondence of the club with you as a secretary. One of the key roles of the secretary is to keep them with him or with her. Second, the club secretary has custody of the club's charter constitution and bylaws and all other records and documents of the club. Why do we do that? Because sometimes we need to refer or to go back again to some details in the minutes of the meeting or in the club constitution. Sometimes the club officers, the new club officers, they need to change something in the club bylaws. Here they have to refer back to the old ones or the old documents and to see what was done before and what they need to amend or to change as per the club's members uh, needs. Third, keeps an accurate record of the meetings and activities of the club and of the club executive committee. And this is also one of the main roles which help us as uh, members and as a secretary as well to practice a skill which is very important that all of us need that is listening skill yes it helps you to promote that skill by taking care of each and every detail that goes in or during the club meeting or the club executive uh, the, the executive meetings committee uh, meetings the fourth responsibility or role is to maintain an accurate and complete roster of individual members of the club, including the address and status of each member and transmits the same to the successor in office. We need to maintain that. So it's your responsibility and it's your role as a secretary now to start by submitting the club officer's name and to keep the dashboard and to keep the club roster updated. If there is any change in the club roster and the members of the club, you are responsible for that, not the member, the VP membership. So this is one of your crucial or main responsibilities. The fifth point or the fifth role is provides notices of provides notices of meetings as required by this constitution. So you have to take notes and to write each and everything that or incidents that happen in the club meetings or even in the ex club meetings to write them down and to keep them later on. And I always prefer to submit these reports or these notes and to filter them as soon as the club meeting is over because your mind will be still fresh and you will remember everything in that happened or took place in the meeting. Notifies the world headquarters of Toastmaster International of any change in the roster of individual member. That was what we have mentioned before that it is your responsibility to write or to update the dashboard uh, every now and then. Now, the secretary's role is first, let's take it one by one. Taking notes of the meeting sessions. Okay, someone may ask me, what are the items or what are the points that I had to have to take care of while writing the notes of the meeting? As you can see in front of you, 
some of the items that we need to record in the meeting minutes, first of all, the club name and number, which is very important. Sometimes um, for some incidents or for some consequences of the pandemic that we live in now, some clubs become very weak and they are suspended. So some other people, they take that club and rename, update the name of the club and take it and revive it again. So this is very important to write the name of the club and the number as well. Day and date, type of meeting, which is a regular meeting or a special meeting or an executive committee meeting, it differs. So you need also to write or to document what type of meeting is it. The fourth point is the meeting venue. Where did the meeting took place? List of meeting attendees, and this is also one of your duties as a secretary to keep an attendees sheet with you for each and every meeting. Presiding officer's name. And what do we mean by the presiding officer? The presiding officer is the one who leads the meeting from the very beginning. So it's not properly or it's not a must, not necessarily to be the president of the club. Sometimes the president will, cannot make it for that or this meeting. So we can, uh, he can also hand it over to the vice president education or VP membership or uh, like this. So the presiding officer's name is also important in order to refer to him whenever you want to ask or to clarify something. The amendments and approval of the previous minutes minutes. And from my own experience, actually, we usually write the minutes of the meeting and then we discuss it with the executive meeting and the group and the WhatsApp group or maybe uh, during a physical meeting, a very short physical meeting with the president, then we have to check that all the notes and all the business session have been done properly and all the minutes are okay, approved by the EXCO meeting. Then we start circulating all the minutes of the meeting with the club members themselves. During uh, the, the, the two weeks before the meeting comes, the other meeting comes. So we circulated via email or even on the WhatsApp group. And then in the first meeting after that, we can discuss this in the uh, business session at the beginning or at the end of the meeting. If there is any amendments that have been done to that minutes of the meeting, we can amend, recheck, and then post it for the club members. All motions, including the name of the mover, the name of the member who seconds the motion, and whether the motion passed or was defeated. And I can say that it's very also it's very important to document what was the motion, who seconded it, and if there is any discussion that happened for that motion or not, and to decide whether was it passed or defeated. Committee assignments during elections, including the names of the committee chair, members, and deadlines. Main points of any debate or discussions that may happen in or during the meeting. Any questions so far? Yes. What kind of debates are we talking about? What kind of minutes? Debates, I said. Debate. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, let me say that it will be a kind of debate, not an argument. Why? Because sometimes when someone raises a motion and he, for example, uh, let's change the date or the day of our meeting. It's not suitable for me to attend on Saturdays, for example. So this will be a motion and it should be stated very shortly in a very few words. And then the presiding officer will ask someone to second the motion. After that, they, he will open the floor for discussion. If there is anyone who is uh, against the motion, both of them, both parties, I mean, the, the one who raised the motion, people who are with or for the motion, people who are against the motion, both of them will take their opportunity to discuss why are they for that motion? 
or why are they against? That's the reason. And that kind of discussion is called a debate because I have to practice my skills to persuade you, to convince you that my own opinion is correct. And sometimes we have the minority who are against the motion and at the end of that session, they pass the motion of the minority. And this is also one of the parliamentary procedures which is very important to practice in a Toastmasters meeting to practice these parliamentary procedures to give the minority the right to speak or to express themselves. I hope I answered your question. Yes, thank you. Okay, I had another question, a small doubt. Um, what is the point of sharing the minutes of a meeting that's already done and everyone has attended with the people again? Okay, I will let you know every detail at the end of the meeting because we will have a question and answer session for okay. 10 to 15 minutes. And one more thing that I would like to say that all the documents, all uh, the forms, the templates that you will need as a secretary, I have plenty of these forms that because I have practiced this role more than one time, I will provide you with all the forms, templates that you will need for that role to practice perfectly. Okay. Thank you so much. These are some of the minutes of the meeting that I have recorded when I was the secretary of the club in 2018. I have written all the executive committee meetings. This is a committee, an executive committee meeting, and I wrote down all the discussion that happened amongst all the club officers. Uh, regarding the budget, regarding the membership, regarding even the VP education goals and all these uh, things have been discussed. What are the past motions? What are the approved? What are the defeated? Everything was written here. So this is one of the templates. The other template is this one. This is for the club meetings. And I also recorded everything that took place in that uh, this is a template, actually, I didn't fill it in because I will leave it, leave it to you. If you would like to be provided by these forms, you can just fill in the blanks with the name of the club, the day and the date and all these details. Okay, let's move to another very important role that we have discussed at the beginning of the secretary, that is to maintain files or the correspondence of the club. And this is one of the forms that we may keep, we need to keep in the club officers and, and the secretary's uh, files as a kind of documentation. So let's just highlight some other roles for the secretary or for the club secretary. The attendance, you are responsible for preparing a template or a sheet, or even now because we are meeting on Zoom online, some uh, club officers prefer to make it as a Google form and just send the Google form, the link in the chat box for all the attendees, including members and uh, guests to sign in and to write uh, or to fill in these forms, which is much better and it has no effort, zero effort. The other role is to report new officers. And as we have discussed earlier, that it's very important for the secretary, if you haven't done yet, that you submit the club officer's name uh, and to update the dashboard, because it's very important. You will help the club to get one point and it will be the first point in the club in the, in the new year. Base camp manager, yes. It's not only the president who is responsible for the base camp manager, or he, he is, it's not only the president who is the manager of the base camp, but you as a secretary, you are a base camp manager as well. So we have three base camp manager for pathways in order to help the members to uh, proceed and to progress in their educational and achieve their educational goals, you are one of the base camp manager, the president, VP education, and you as a secretary. Let's go deeper 
in these responsibilities and I, I will highlight them and we'll talk about three main areas in the club uh, secretary's responsibilities. The first area I will highlight or focus on the club meetings. The second area is outside the club meeting, which your responsibility works more and more effective. And then at the end, we will discuss your responsibility as a club officer in the executive committee. Any questions so far? If it's, there is something that is not clear, I would like to, yes, yeah, someone has raised his hand. Moni, Bos, yes, please unmute yourself. Hi, good evening, madam. Uh, thanks for your time on this session. I had just one doubt okay, when you were talking about uh, taking the minutes of the meeting and or it is regarding the executive committee meetings or any other special meeting, right? Not the normal club. Uh, meetings, which Both. we can. Ah, oh, right. Both. Yeah, this is what we are going to give more details about because yeah. that's why at the beginning I told you that never underestimate your role as a club secretary because you are the one who is responsible for documenting and writing down and archiving all the documents of the club whether in the executive meetings or the club meetings, if it's a normal meeting or a club meeting that is for a special or a special event or a special occasion. So let's start in the club meeting. Before the club meetings, you have some responsibilities. What do you think? What are the responsibilities you have to prepare for before the meetings? We have to read the club uh, officer's manual handbook. Okay. Uh, you mean at the beginning of the sem semester or the term? Uh, no, everything. I mean, before coming today, for example, we have to read it. Oh, you're yeah. asking about the meetings. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> okay. It's okay. Now we have another one who raised his hand. Uh, Toastmaster Elangova. Yes, please. You are unmuted. Yeah. Yeah, uh, I have one question. Actually, you told me that the best camp manager is the president and the VP and uh, secretary. So what is the secretary major role in the best camp manager? Any limit is there or, or uh, what he can do in the best camp manager as a secretary? OK. Of course, I will let you know, but now I would like you and, and kindly, I really appreciate your participation regarding your role or your responsibility as a secretary before the club meetings. We make sure that the minutes of the previous meeting are already done, reached every and single uh, member. And also, if we can get notes from them, that would be better for the amendment and the approval of the minutes of the meeting of the previous meeting. Awesome, thank you so much. And you as a club officer, you are working within a team and this team is responsible for the whole club and the whole members. So it's also one of your responsibilities as a club officer to, uh, to help the VPPR to market for the club uh, meetings. And then you can prepare everything with the coordination with the VP education who are uh, the role players and uh, what if, if the agenda is ready or not. So before, if we have physical meetings, it's one of your responsibility to print out this agenda of the meeting and then to distribute it for all members and guests before the meeting starts. So this is one of the responsibilities of you as a secretary before the club meetings. And then upon arrival to the club meetings, as we discussed that you have to make sure that everything is down is there. The minutes of the meeting are ready to be read out at the beginning of the meeting and to discuss any uh, thing with the club president. During the club meetings, of course, you will be uh, given the opportunity by the club uh, officer or the, I mean the presiding officer to read out the minutes of the meeting at the beginning. And some of the club officers on some club meetings, they 
uh, provide the members with uh, the minutes, not only the minutes of the meeting, but also a short report by all club officers at the beginning or maybe at the end of the club meetings. Before the club meetings, you have to post the previous minutes of, as we agreed at the beginning. So after writing notes, agreed with the club president that all the notes are clearly set and uh, written down, you have to post the previous minutes of the meeting in the uh, club channel, the, the, the official club channel, which is maybe could, could, could be the email or uh, the WhatsApp group. Then prepare a list of actions for the president. What do you mean by the list of actions? Anyone? Maybe so uh, general evaluate. If in case general evaluator has given any suggestions uh, in previous meeting, ensuring that those suggestions have been implemented in the uh, following meeting. Awesome, thank you so much. This is really a valid point and very important because why do we document and write notes and write the minutes of everything that happens or take place in the meeting? Because sometimes we have some recommendations, not only by the general evaluator, but even by uh, the president or any club officer. Sometimes there is a business session at the end or at the beginning as the club meters, the, the members agree. In this business session, we take some decisions for the club members, for the benefit of the club members. And that's why it's very important to just highlight these actions and to prepare them in a list and provide the president with these list of actions. Um, the last point, update the club's officer list, and we discussed that at the beginning. Okay, now let's move to, upon arrival at the club meetings, we discussed that. We have, as a secretary role, you have to circulate the attendance sheet and guest book. And because we are meeting now online, as, you, as I mentioned before, we can also post the link in the chat box for all the attendees, including members and guests, to fill in this form to make sure that the attendees' names and details are there in the, in the form. And then we can print it out or keep it as a soft copy for uh, the, uh, the club's correspondence. One of your responsibilities, even when you arrive to the club meetings, is to greet the guests and to talk with them just to highlight some of the benefits of Toastmasters some of them, they come to uh, improve themselves and for the first time they are hearing about the Toastmasters. So it's a good opportunity for you as a secretary to uh, welcome the guests and to talk about the benefits of Toastmasters at the beginning before the meeting starts. Now let's move to the last point that is during the club meetings, also you can read the previous minutes at the beginning or at the end you have to uh, agree upon that with the club officers and to note the amendments. What are the amendments that could be done to the uh, minutes of the meeting? Sometimes uh, we, we write down all the discussion that happened. Uh, someone has raised a motion and someone has discussed that. And at the end, they will approve or pass one motion at the end. So maybe at that point, I didn't hear well, I didn't least listen carefully for that. So some of the, uh, those notes need uh, amendments. So that's why I need to correspond or to collaborate with the president to just check that all the notes have taken carefully. And if there is any amendments, we amend these notes and then post it again or circulate it again as approved. The last point is to record the current meetings minutes. One of your, uh, one of the esteemed attendees asked, is it the club meetings minutes or the XCOM meeting minutes? And I, my answer was, is both. 
you are the secretary, you are the historian, the documentarian of that club. So you have to document every single minute in any meeting, whether if it's an executive committee meeting or a regular meeting or even a special meeting for a special occasion for the club. Write down all the notes that have taken place in that meeting. Secretary weekly task list. This list will help you know exactly what are the tasks that you, you need to fulfill by the end of each week. Let's say that we are meeting every fortnight. We are meeting twice a week, uh, twice a month. So after that, we need to just highlight what are the tasks that we need to, to do. Typing minutes of the meeting, update the attendance sheet, sending the minutes of the meeting to the members, finalize the minutes with the amendments and any points that has been discussed or motions during the business session. And here are some deadlines that we can uh, put for ourselves to help us organize and arrange everything. Outside the club meeting, which is very important for a secretary to start his mission after the meeting ends. First of all, to maintain accurate roster, if we have a guest that have been transformed to a, to a member, we have to update the roster and to uh, insert all the data or the, docu the information about that member. And then we can coordinate with the treasurer in order to fulfill the other role that payments and all these things. Handle correspond submit club officer list, handle correspondence, keep the club files. Attend the club executive committee meetings because this is how you will enhance your leadership skills, you will enhance your role as a secretary, and you will boost your listening skill by writing down. Of course, you have to participate or to express your opinion in all the discussion that takes place in uh, the committee meetings. Outside also the club meeting, you can vote at the international business meetings, which will take place. place I mean, the, the international convention will take place in uh, August. And you as a secretary and the president of the club are the only ones who are eligible to vote, to choose, and to decide who will be the international director in the coming two years. Facilitate member progress in base camp. Yes, this is very important to know that your role as a secretary is also you are a base camp manager. For the member who asked about what do I have to do if I a base if I am a base camp manager as a secretary, what to do? Actually, it's the main role of the VP education. But suppose that the VP education has been traveled or he has very bad connections and he cannot uh, receive, or sometimes we are hacked. Uh, we lose our uh, emails or our data. Um, I mean, we lose the connection with the members. This is your role as a secretary after coordinating with the VP education and the president to fulfill proceeding and approving the projects of the members. This is how we can help the members to progress and to complete their educational journey in Toastmasters. So this is how you can facilitate the member progress in base camp if the VP education cannot fulfill that or even the president of the club. Arrange for your replacement. We always, um, we have to implement the tagline of Toastmaster International that is where leaders are made. And because we are uh, practicing this for the first time, we know more responsibilities about or the tasks that we are responsible for as a secretary. It's better to prefer and uh, to, to prepare your successor for the incoming year. So this is how everything will go and move smoothly for the next few years. Prepare your successor of office. During the executive committee, it's the same. You have to read the previous minutes. 
uh, note amendments and record the current meeting minutes. Yes, the subcommittee. Do you have an idea about the subcommittee for the secretary? Or any of the participants have implemented that? You can share your experience. Hello? Does anyone want to participate or to share his experience regarding the subcommittee? Hello, we, yes. We don't know what I can share. share. Sorry? Um, oh, I can just share that it's good to have a committee just in case for whatever, for whatever reason you're not able to make the meeting, you have a backup and that way the role is always filled with somebody in your place, especially when you're not available. Exactly. Perfect. Thank you so much for that, because it's very important to prepare your successor. And where will you get your successor? You have to prepare your subcommittee at the beginning of the year, just in case sometimes we are we, we, we become that we face some circumstances that we cannot make it for the club meeting. So it's better to just delegate and ask one of your successors and one of the members in your subcommittee to take notes for that minutes uh, for that meeting in order to archive them and to document them at the end. So you will coordinate with the subcommittee members for both benefits, for the members benefit and for your own benefit. You will ask them to write the minutes of the meeting so you will help them to practice that in advance and then after that, at the end of the year, you are already now ready to prepare your successor to take this role for the next year. Now, getting started, just in a nutshell, to attend the district sponsored club officers training program that is happening now, read the materials, which are very important and very useful for you as a secretary to meet with the outgoing executive committee, just to coordinate with them, to meet with the outgoing secretary, to meet with the current executive committee, and to confirm submission of the newly elected officers list, just to ensure that you have secured the first half, the first half point of the uh, points, educational goals, uh, sorry, of the administrative goals of the club, uh, um, goals in the dashboard and to review and order any needed materials. At the end, these are some of the additional resources that are very important and highly recommended for you as a secretary, whether you are an experienced Toastmaster or even if you are taking up this role for the first time, this will help you more to know about your role. Now it's time for the question and answer session. If you have any question, please feel free to ask me any question. But before that, I would like you to just um, write down my email. If you want me to provide you with the templates, with the forms, with everything, I will be more than happy to provide you with these forms. So this is my email. You can just uh, email me and I will be happy to assess you. Okay, now let's have the question and answer session. Toastmaster Fatima, I have a question. Say like to secure the first point, I, we, me as a secretary, I need to send the new officers list. So whom will I be sending it? to the DTM or what's the address? Or how will I be sending that? Okay. Now, after the club officers, uh, the elections, you have as an incoming secretary, you have to write down the names of the uh, club officers, then the seven club officers, the president, the, uh, all the club officers. Some clubs, they take time to, uh, to designate these new members or the new uh, club officers. If it's not done before the end of June, it's your responsibility now as a club officer because you will be officially on the dashboard or on uh, the club roster as a secretary designated as an uh, or assigned as a uh, secretary for the club. So you will have access to the TI website 
just go to the club officers and choose the uh, club leadership and then choose the club assignments, uh, club officers assignments, and just write them their names in uh, the website. I hope I answered your question. Yes, so we have also Tahsin Akbal. Yes, please unmute yourself. Good afternoon, ma'am. How are you? Good afternoon. Thank you so much. I'm uh, fine. Thank you very much. Uh, my uh, question is regarding that uh, you just mentioned that uh, it is the responsibility of secretary to uh, entertain the guests before the meeting. Yeah. Uh, isn't it the, um, means in the portfolio of, uh, uh, what should I say, the uh, vice president public relations? No, as I mentioned that we are as a team, we need to coordinate with each other, but it's one of your responsibilities. It is one of them, I mean, the tiny or mini tasks as a secretary to, to welcome the guests. Why? Because you will keep the attendees sheet with you. So why not having a chit chat with the guests just to break the ice and then to write them down on all their uh, details in order to contact them later on if you want to advise uh, the VPPR, VPPR to invite them or the VP membership to invite them to the next meeting. So this will be a good one for the secretary. Okay, understand it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yes, uh, Y80 Toastmaster Bina. Uh, the full name is not displayed, so I hope I uh, yes. pronounce yes. your name. Yes, it's uh, Bina, yeah. Good yeah. evening. Good evening, hi. Uh, hi. Um, regarding the minutes for the meeting, um, it's like uh, you had mentioned we have to uh, um, soon after the meeting has been over, we have to send it uh, to the members for confirmation. Is it, uh, you had mentioned that. So do we have to send, it's, we have to send it to the XCOM members, right? Yep. For the confirmation. Okay. Yes. Okay. At the so, beginning, you write down all the notes and all the minutes of the meeting. Sometimes you need to filter them because you are just writing notes and some notes, they need more details or more clarification. Uh, so after that, you just uh, uh, filter them and write them down. Then you have to post it to the XCOM members in the WhatsApp group just to read the minutes of the meeting and to make sure that everything went correctly. If there is any amendments, then you have to amend. And then later on in the beginning of the next meeting, they discuss the amendments and to approve it by all members of the club. But oh. before circulating to the members, you have to discuss it with the XCOM members. XCOM members. Oh, okay, okay. Thank you very much, ma'am. Thank you. No problem, more. Ma yes, uh, sir. Those yeah. Uh, if a member joins in for a, maybe 15 minutes, uh, he comes in in the meeting and within 15, 20 minutes, he leaves for whatsoever reason. So should we take him his, as attendance, whether he's present or not? Sure, yes. If a member, uh, you can also document that or write the, uh, this note at the end of the minutes of the meeting that some members left early for some circum some circumstances or for uh, other commitments. So you just write that. But if he attended the meeting, even if it's only for 15 minutes or 10 minutes, it's okay because we need members to attend the meeting. And that's all. Thank you. You are most welcome. Yes, another question from Toastmaster Widad. Yes. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Oops. Good afternoon. Yeah, can you, okay, you can hear me now. So thank you very much for this fruitful meeting and good luck for everyone, new and old. Uh, I have some questions, some I think they are simple, but I don't understand, I don't know the answers. First of all, the minutes of meetings, when we send them to all the members after sharing it with the XCOM and they agreed upon, and then we have some amendments or improvements or some notes on it. Do we mention this in our next meeting when reading the minutes that the minutes were amended or some notes from the from the members or not? That's a very excellent question. You know why? Because this is related to applying or practicing the parliamentary procedures which is very important to be applied in each and every meeting. 
At the end of the meeting, I will write the minutes of the meeting and I will discuss all the notes or all the points and uh, all the items with the club officers, that is the executive meetings, and then we approve it as, a, as uh, an executive meeting, uh, executive uh, club officers. Then after that, before approving it, this is the first step. Then we will circulate or move to the second step that is to circulate the meetings minutes with the members. Someone will ask me, why do we circulate it? And then we discuss it at the beginning or deliver a report or read the minutes of the meeting at the beginning of the other meeting, why? Is that a double work? No, it's not a double work. Why? Because some members cannot make it for the, for the club meetings regularly. So some, some of them are stuck and they cannot attend, but they can know what happened and went through the meeting that threw out these minutes of the meeting. So you will help the members to keep in touch with the club officers and the other members to know what happened during the meeting. Sometimes the, we vote about something, we raise a motion, we take some decisions during the meetings where some members cannot meet uh, or uh, attend the meetings. So this will help them know. And then at the beginning of the meeting, when we read out these minutes of the meeting, some of the members who didn't attend or couldn't be uh, able to attend the, the previous meeting will raise another motion to amend the motion that is raised by that member. You know? The motion for the motion. Exactly, just to amend. Okay. And one of the parliamentary procedures, even we do at the beginning, is that to raise a motion to, um, to, to adopt the agenda of the meeting at the beginning. This is one also of the um, main and important proced parliamentary procedures that we need to practice at the beginning. So this is how members, they feel that they are really valuable members. They are listened to, they are very esteemed, and they are very important to know each and every member's uh, opinion. I hope I answered it. Yeah, before the meeting, you said we have to prepare a list of actions for the president. Yeah. Like what? Uh, we discussed that, that we said that uh, if there are some recommendations by the general evaluator, and I know that many clubs, they invite people who take up the role of the general evaluator to the club, just to, uh, it's a kind of interaction and inter-visitation between the clubs, and this will add more to the club. Sometimes I apply that to role in a different way in my club, so this ex a kind of exchanging experience will help the club to grow, to, to grow and to improve. Uh, the general evaluator will recommend some points for the club to uh, to develop or to improve next time. So these points should be considered and uh, will be written down in the minutes of the meeting. So I, as a secretary, have to write down all these actions or all these things for the president to know what's happened and what we do we need to take for the next time. Okay. One more question regarding the subcommittee. I had a question, but I didn't ask anyone until you mentioned it. It came back to my mind. Does the secretary need to have a subcommittee? And if yes, how many are the members? It's up to you as a secretary. Why? Uh, that's why I said that the tagline of Toastmasters is where leaders are made. And we need to delegate. We need even to know or to be aware of how to delegate other responsibilities to other members. This is how we help each other in uh, Toastmasters to grow together. So when you delegate and to trust some members, let's say if you have two members, this will be more than enough. To delegate these responsibilities, for example, I will be responsible for writing uh, uh, the first part of the meeting, for example, or the first session, and you will be responsible for the writing down the minutes of the prepared speeches, let's say, or the last uh, part of the evaluation, or if, it's, if there is any business session to be conducted in the meeting, you will be responsible for it, or I will be responsible for it. So this kind of delegation will help you, as well as the members that you uh, chose to be uh, in your, uh, subcommittee 
to grow and to learn how to write the minutes of the meeting. So when the new start, when the new beginning or the new uh, year starts, they will be fully acquainted and fully prepared for that role. Okay, we have another question from Tosmasa Qasim. Qasim, yes, SLCC. Uh, please unmute. Uh, okay, I will unmute you. Yes. Thank you very much. You are so welcome. interesting. Thank you. Yes, we, as this toy point was not mentioned, but uh, from our club practice, the secretary is the one taking care about that. Yep. Okay, now I, I am facing a problem because last year also I was secretary. This year I uh, purposefully I just asked them to give it to me uh, because I, I was having uh, so much uh, gaps to come out to learn in perspective. The action point, which is you discussed the earlier question also, I am facing a struggling to take the action point. General evaluation point, I am easily picking it up. When you come to the XCOM meeting, action points, if you can give some tips, how I can you know get easily pick up these points. Okay, like this thank you so much for your question. Yes, thank you so much for your question. If there is any uh, if there is any uh, queries or actions to be done, because as an executive committee we meet and we discuss some points. Let's say the club success plan, and we discuss what are the events that we are going to conduct for the coming year or for in the few uh, coming months. So when we discuss that, sometimes we didn't take actions or we didn't do that. So it's my responsibility to just to remind the president of the club that we need to take actions. Uh, for example, some of the club members have suggested or proposed to have a barbecue uh, party or a barbecue day or uh, an outdoor um, uh, event, for example, or celebrating one of the members' birthday or any occasion. So this would be a good, uh, a good point for the secretary while he is writing down all these points to just make it as an action uh, points or to an action list for the president to remind them during the executive committee. If it's something related to the club or one of the members or some of the members, it's good to discuss it with the executive committee. So it's the same. I hope I answered your question. Okay, now we have Toastmaster Anusha. Hello, good Hi. afternoon, everyone. Hi. Good afternoon. Uh, I have uh, two questions regarding uh, for installation meeting. Uh, can we use any other format, minutes of meeting, or do we have any certain format of writing these minutes of meeting? Actually, there are many or there are multiple forms for writing the minutes of the meeting. One of them is provided by the TI uh, International um, website. And mm. some of you uh, have also invented their own forms or templates. Uh, whatever you feel that you are comfortable with, you can apply whatever you want. Regarding the elections and uh, the installation, you can just write what's happening in the installation that uh, the installation chair, for example, was uh, X, Y, Z, for example. And then you just write down all the procedures that have been taking place, uh, starting from installing, uh, of course, the surgeon at arms and then go gradually one by one till we reach the president. But if it's the elections, we can also uh, play an important and um, crucial role during the elections because as a secretary, as a current uh, secretary, you have to cast the votes for each uh, nominees or for each candidate. And this is also very important to be kept in the uh, club correspondence. Okay. And uh, this format can be in PPT form or like poster, magazine these minutes of meeting no 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 it could be a word uh, uh, 
a Word file and you just fill in the gaps in the template. Uh, uh, if you provide me with, uh, if you ask me with, uh, I mean, uh, if you send me an email, I will provide mm. you with templates, you know. Uh, I have different and multiple templates that will really help you to fulfill your uh, work and fulfill your responsibilities uh, perfectly. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, now we have uh, another question from Toastmaster Elagovana. Elagovan? Elangovan. Yes, please unmute yourself. Yeah. Uh, I have only one question. Uh, as a secretary, the minutes of meeting to be elaborate, or sometimes we can uh, minimize the meeting minutes uh, with a lesser point. What are the important minimum points to be in the minutes of meeting? We do not go with the elaboration writing so many stories or something, this and that. So what is the minimum point that should be compulsory in the minutes of meeting? At least the five points or six points to be in the Minutes. That is most important, valuable point as a secretary point of view. Thank you so much for yes. Uh, this is a, another very important question because it's up to you as a secretary to write down or to decide what are the important points that should be documented. But we all agree that it's very important to write what's happening during the meeting, we have three sessions, for example, we have the prepared speeches, table topics, and then at the end, we have the evaluation session. Some clubs, they go further and they take more sessions like uh, for uh, an enjoy, enjoy uh, um, celebrating something, or if it's a special meeting for the, uh, the anniversary of the club. And at the end or at the beginning of the meeting, we have also a business session, but sometimes, it's not mandatory to have it in each and every meeting, but it's very important to write down what happened exactly and what took place in the business session. This is very important. For the guests and for the benefits of the guests, sometimes when they attend the meeting, they ask for, uh, okay, I, I came last time and I participated in, in table topics. Could you please just remind the, me uh, which... Uh, in which segment I participated or what time I came or sometimes like uh, it happens. So it's important to write the main or the major incidents that took place in the meeting, uh, the three main sessions or portion of the meetings, prepared speeches, table topics and evaluation, the recommendations or the remarks of the general evaluator. If there is any business sessions that took place, you also write down them because they are very important. Thank you. Now we have another question from Toastmaster Kassem. Uh, yes, I, I was on a uh, different device, same earlier I raised. Uh, now the thing is the minutes of the meeting. What is the duration uh, since meeting is finished, we have to circulate it. Okay, uh, we mentioned that during the presentation that we said it's the sooner the better. I mean that as soon as we finish the meeting, it's better to write down all notes that have been uh, written down. Uh, it's up to you to write them in detail or in brief, it's up to you. That's why when I provide you with the templates, I will give you different forms. One of them is very brief and the other one is more detailed that has all the every single thing that has took place in the minutes of the meeting or during the meeting was documented. So it's up to you to decide what to write and what to delete. This is one thing. It's uh, again, um, uh, sorry, I forgot your question. Just remind you of your question, please. Tasma Sakasa. Yeah, it's fine. Thank you. Uh, earlier question also was clear. I got disconnected from another device. It was a backup device. I kept it. Oh, uh, okay. Okay. That's fine. fine. Thank you very much. It's so interesting. I will drop you an email. I will get some details, even the presentations to my Thank inbox, you. I believe. 
I love uh, we you. Thank also you. Appreciate, thank you so much. And uh, we also appreciate if you I get your feedback using the link that is posted by our Zoom master in the chat box. So I really appreciate your feedback. So this is how I can improve and develop myself. Uh, is there any questions? Okay. Yes, madam. Thank you. Morning, boss. Yes, madam. Good evening. I have just one humble request. You see, this club officers training meeting is uh, uh, getting conducted at the same time. Uh, there are so many people okay, who is a secretary in one club and holding another position in another club. So they have, because in the morning section, I had asked whether this is happening at different segments. They told that okay, it is at the same segment. So I have to choose the best and I found your training to be the best. So I joined here. But at the same time, I would like to get uh, the other training also. I know that okay, it is getting recorded. Is there any possibility whereby we can ask the officials to send us a copy? Sure, sure. Yes, uh, all the sessions are recorded because they are taking place and happening at the same time, which is from 3.30 to 4.30, and then they will be uploaded to the YouTube channel of the uh, District 20. And then uh, if you would like just to, because at the beginning when they started marketing for the training, they, um, they posted the links for all the club officers positions and then they said if you have one uh, or more than one role as a club officer you can just list them down in the registration link and it will be considered the, what degree you agree the percentage sorry hello okay so i hope i answered your question uh, every or all the sessions will be posted to the youtube channel of district 20 inshallah so don't worry if you missed anything out you can also catch up with the uh with the other session that will be uh maybe after one or two months will be conducted as well uh to complete for those who couldn't make it for this training the makeup coat, I mean. Yes, madam. Uh, good evening, ma'am. Good evening. Hi, ma'am. Hi, ma'am. It, it's a great, it's a great uh, pleasure to be part of the, the entire presentation. It's a beautiful, it's a beautiful <laughs> learning experience, not only about the subject, but also the way you are presenting it. Thank you so much. Thank no, you I, so have a, I have a question. I'm a very, very uh, yeah. new member to the Toastmasters, and I would like to know what is the secretary role of Toastmaster Committee um, have to do when it comes to the role outside the club? Uh, you are talking about your role as a secretary within the club uh, itself, not uh, in your uh, professional life, I mean. Uh, I mean, outside the club, yes. Even in my professional life, how, how can, can you relate me or explain, explain me anything? That is outside the club. Sure, sure. Let me share with you one of the incidents that I have going through during my uh, experience in Toastmasters. One of uh, the members was designated or assigned as the club secretary in one of the clubs. And then she came to join our club as an advanced club. Uh, during the, uh, the club officers uh, elections, she said that because there were no uh, two candidates for that position, that is the secretary. And of course, one each one of them will be given two minutes to speak or to deliver a speech to convince the audience that are the members of the club to whom I will vote for. So that specific secretary, that member, mentioned very important incident that happened in that club. She said that I was the secretary of the club and I wrote down all the minutes of the meeting. And during that uh, specific meeting, an argument had happened with some members. And because I documented each and every single thing that took place in that club, all the club officers couldn't prove who is right and who is wrong unless they referred back to me and to the club officers minutes of the meeting to prove, to know, to know 
what exactly happened in the club meetings. So this was uh, just uh, a kind of um, to feel that you have to feel proud that you are the secretary of the meeting. You are the one who decides what exactly happened and what didn't take place in the club. This is one thing. Regarding your professional uh, life, sometimes we need to know more about what to do and how to write the minutes of the meeting, uh, what to write, what to delete, what to uh, mention, what not to, or what to ignore. And uh, how can you write, your writing style is very important. And even how can you deal with such documents or such experience that you are facing for the first time? So th this actually helped me a lot as a secretary. And uh, I'm doing that while I'm taking the notes of the meeting. And when my boss or my manager asked me to write the minutes of the meeting, she was impressed with the way I wrote the minutes of the meeting when, uh, when I gave it to her. So this is how we grow in Toastmaster actually. Okay, one more question uh, with Toastmaster um, Gorangi Gar. Yes. Yeah. yes. <laughs> Thank you for pronouncing my name right. I usually don't get that. <laughs> uh, so you already spoke about this, but I I was a little unsure. I, I'm a little confused. There was someone who already asked in the Q and A section, uh, and you said something about. Um, the agenda of the meeting and making the people feel important. I want to uh, understand that part a little more. Could you please explain on that? Uh, the agenda of the meeting, yes. Um, at the beginning of the meeting, uh, the presiding officer will ask uh, the secretary or even the club officers just to deliver a report in within two minutes to talk about their missions or about their uh, um, what they have done through, so far in their roles. For example, the VPPR, that uh, they are encouraging the members to post articles or to help the VPPR to market more or to activate the club accounts on social media and so forth and so on. Uh, also the VP membership, they will mention the status of the club regarding the membership and to encourage the members to get more guests and get more members and so on. Regarding the secretary, you will read out the minutes of the meeting. And as I mentioned, some, some members cannot make it for each and every regular meeting to attend. If, for example, if I couldn't make it for the meeting this time, and I read the minutes of the meeting or heard to be read out by the secretary himself or herself, I will feel that I'm really a very valuable member because you are in acknowledging me, you are informing me of what happened during that meeting. Sometimes they take decisions or they take some uh, uh, important uh, decisions for the members themselves that, for example, we have to decide when is going to be uh, the club contest and I'm going to compete this year in the club contest but I didn't know when did they decide the contest date. So if I didn't attend that meeting and they gave me the report on the minutes of the meeting, I will be fully aware of everything that happened in the meeting. Then if it's not suitable for me, if it's not convenient to, to choose this date, I can raise another motion to amend the date of the contest, the club contest, for example, to move it from November to December, let's say. And this is how we uh, propose or amend the motion and if it's approved or passed, so the, the last motion will be passed and uh, according or as per uh, the member's interest. Okay, right. I have an, another question. Uh, uh, you said print, uh, just so when you were showing the slides uh, for the before the meeting, the roles of a secretary, it said circulate the attendance sheet and guest book. Yes. Uh, where do we have to circulate the attendance sheet? Uh, at the beginning, when we used to, to meet physically, <laughs> we used to have a guest book or attendance sheet just to write all the information about the guests, oh. <laughs> the members, uh, the, their phone numbers, their full name and how to contact them if they have an email or social media accounts or something like this. 
uh, to invite them for the coming meetings. But now, so far, we are meeting only online. So it's better to just post a link for a Google form to uh, register for all members and uh, uh, sorry, and uh, guests as well. Okay, thank you. That's all I have. <laughs> Wish you all the best, inshallah. Thank Any you. more questions? I hope we are done and still, as I told you, as Anna mentioned at the beginning, if you have any more queries, I will be open. Uh, I'm all ears. Uh, you have my email, you have my contact number. So please feel free to contact me for any more questions. I can provide you also with the presentation that I have displayed today. I can provide you with the old templates that you will need in the future for writing the minutes of the meeting. Uh, whether if it's for the executive meeting, uh, committee meetings or the club uh, meetings. So it's my pleasure. Thank you so much for your good listening. And now it's time to launch the last poll that the same questions that we started with, just to make sure that you were very attentive with me. Thank you. The poll has been launched. I hope you can take just a few seconds of your time to answer the questions again. Thank you, thank you so much. I'm so happy that more than 50% of the attendees now have answered the poll. 60%. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> there are some tricky questions, by the way, included. There are some words that if you change it, you will have the right answer. Now it's 65% of the attendees. Seventy percent. I'm so happy. Seventy-five. <laughs> That's really great. Okay, let's have a few seconds and then we will end the poll. Eighty one. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, few seconds. Five, four, three, two, <laughs> one. You can end the poll, Tosmasa Tofik. That's really great. Mashallah, mashallah. Thank you so much because uh, these are some of the very important uh, roles of the secretary that we have discussed throughout this uh, presentation. And I'm um, really uh, thankful for you all for having uh, you on this um, holiday. I hope you will enjoy the rest of the day. Thank you so much. This is DTM Fatma Abdul, your trainer for the day and wish you all the best. Over to you, uh, Tosma Satofiq. Thank you very much. It was a pleasure having you and a big round of applause. Of course, everybody can unmute themselves and they're allowed now. Thank you so much. Thank big you. Round of applause. Thank you very much for your time and effort. And I hope everybody's questions and answers are uh, clear. If there are any more, she has already raised her email and you can register your email address and it will be answered. Absolutely. Thank you very much. God bless and see you. Take care. Be safe. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
thank you all. Thank you. 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 Thank Yeah, I'm from Bahrain Advanced Toss Masters Club, and I'm living in Beirut. Mashallah, it's a really challenge, but I enjoy it.